Oh boy. I can't believe I'm actually playing this game. I don't know. First of all, I'm a little scared. I'm gonna screw it all up and it's gonna eat me up real bad if that happens in this case because the game that we are playing today is Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Yeah, baby! The classic from Capcom. I believe it was 2001 when the original Ace Attorney came out, which... Damn, that would have put it on the Game Boy Advance, would it not? That's old as shit, actually, now that I think about it. I, I, I have some of this weird memory that it's a... It's a uh, DS game originally, but no, I'm pretty sure I checked it. It's even older. Might as well... Let me give a little quick look here. So, we're only playing the first one this time. The, I, uh, thankfully, all three of original Ace Attorneys are ported to the PC now, which is something I would not have expected, but here we are. Uh, so... So, uh, that means we can play all three of them, however, I'm just gonna play the original one for now. Maybe if I really love this, I will return to parts two and three someday in the future. Yeah, that's right, it came out in October of 2001, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Goodness gracious, I say. <laughs> uh, no, but yes, I mean, obviously, I've. this is one of the most famous series from Capcom. It's... Uh, one of the more more popular series as well. I guess it's kind of a cult classic, but given the fact that it's, as I understand, a visual novel in a lot of ways, it is shocking that it is as popular as it is both in the West as well as Japan. So because it's a visual novel, adventure game what do you want to call it? it? I don't know if it maybe fits the kind of games I play normally, but it's something I've wanted to play for ages, and I think it should be fun, so I really do want to jam with the Ace Attorney here. I, I, ho I hope the series will be fun for both you guys and for me. Also, not to mention, this is... This is the... This is one of the earliest games that's ever been requested on my channel. I actually <laughs> have kept this in my mind. Man, that was, would have been like 2014 or 2015 when that was asked of me, and... Back then, I gently let the viewer down that, well, it's not on the PC, and I can't imagine that it will be on the PC, so probably I'm never gonna let's play this, but now we live in 2020, where among all the crap around the world going on, at least one awesome thing is that there is all kinds of games ported on the PC now, including games I would have never expected to get there. Like Ace Attorney 1 through 3. So, there's no reason not to give it a go. Indeed, here we can see we have Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We have Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, which is the sequel. Oh my goodness, it came out in 2002. I guess, yeah, I guess it's easier to make sequels for visual novels, so you can make those with a shorter development time, huh? And finally, of course, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, which that one took two years, apparently, came out in 2004. If I understood correctly, I'm, I'm not turbo familiar with the series, because, you know, this is one where you really don't want to get spoilers, since it's so story-heavy, I avoided it more than broad strokes. I understand that Trials and Tribulations is, like, absolutely beloved. This is the favorite of the fans of the series, but we're still gonna go with the very first one. That's just how we're gonna roll now. Indeed, if it's so story-heavy, it is a case where might as well find out what goes on in the uh, first installment, yes? Yeah, like I said, I really don't know much about this. I know Phoenix Wright is kind of a goofy lawyer, but he yells out objection a lot, and it's a really cool theme song that plays when he yells objection. Like, that's of course everyone's heard that song. And then his arch nemesis, I think, is called Edgeworth, and he's like super dreamy. I think he's like a fan favorite, despite being an antagonist, right? That's how it goes? I guess we'll find out. Let's, let's get in there. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Yes, this is called in Japanese, this series is known as Gyakten Saiban, which seems 
to translate to turnabout trial. I guess turning the case around is a big theme of this series. It's just flipping the script on the on the uh, opponent. So let's get in on that. <sighs> Ooh, oh my goodness. This is some clue shit right away. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I, I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. Okay. Is this only the intro that the thing auto-scrolls like this, or can I stop it from doing that? Okay, cool, it seems to stop now. That seems to just be the dramatic intro we had, uh, we had, uh, just <laughs> auto-going through the dialogue. That's fine, that's fine. Also, very Columbo-ish of them to just show the, uh, villain right away, instead of being a mystery, a mystery of who the murderer was. There he was, face front and center. But it makes sense. If it's the first case, it needs to be a gentle ease into the uh, into the gameplay. So uh, makes sense that we're at least given a handicap in that sense that we uh, we we know who we need to bust, which is that guy with the pimple on the head. All right, August third, nine forty-seven a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. Mm -hmm. Boy, am I nervous. Right! Oh! Oh, uh, hiya, Chief. Huh, I'm glad I made it on time. Aw, uh, this is a little unfortunate that we don't see Phoenix in these cutscenes. I guess this is one of those first person visual novels. I guess this is supposed to put us in the, put us in the perspective of Phoenix. All right, well, I'll go along with it. Hey, look, we can already review a court record. Of which we don't seem to have much, do we? Attorney's badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death. Uh, 31st of July. Oh man, that's gonna mess with me. Is uh, American ordering of dates where first it's month and then it's it's day. Oh boy. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Cause of death. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. In check. We can also check profiles. Who do we have here? We've got Mia Fey. Hey, that's who we're talking to right now. Chief attorney at Fey and Company. My boss and a very good defense attorney. And then Larry Butts. <laughs> that's an unfortunate name. Hey, is this a... Uh... You know, I starred in Final Fantasy V once, but uh, that was like years ago. The defendant in this case. A likable guy who has been my friend since grade school. Oh wow, upping the stakes right away, having uh, it be a friend of Phoenix who we have to save right at the beginning, man. And Cindy Stone, age 22, the victim in this case. A model, she lived in an apartment by herself. Huh. Alright. Stuff to work on. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Ah, uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? Ooh. You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Man, I, yeah, you know, I didn't even think about that, but isn't that, yeah, kind of incredibly uh, how do you say it? like it's a total bias to have the re the, uh, the the um, the lawyer representing you be a personal friend like isn't that something mm. yeah of course the jury you would not have a guy who is a friend of the the uh, defendant obviously but uh, are you allowed to have a lawyer who's a friend of yours that also seems kind of compromising mm -hmm. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just uh, really want to help him. 
I owe him that much. It's over. Oh no, this must be uh, Mr. Butts. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Huh. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death! Despair! Oh, agony! Oh, agony, agony! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Uh, uh yeah. Uh. Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude! I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! This is a little... morbid. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over! I... I'm finished! Finished! I can't live in a world without her! I can't! Oh, man. Of course, right. He knew the... he knew Cindy. Cindy Stone. Who... who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Why are you calling Phoenix Nick? That's weird. Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Huh. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Hmm, well, there is, of course, the... This is weird, because we know it's that pimple-headed guy, but like, I'm like, hmm, well... There is, of course, the fact that... He is... he knew the victim. They were close. That's like 90% of murders is, uh, by someone the victim knew, right? I made that percentage up on the spot, but it's a big chunk, as I understand. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Okay, cool. We get a little bit of a fill in here. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Oof. Yeah, it was, he's looking uh, a little unsure about what's going to happen to him there, Larry. Our school had a saying. When something smells... It's usually the butts. <laughs> oh man. Immediately I have to give props to the uh, the uh, localization team here. Not just the writing over in Japan with the original team and from Capcom, but guys who localized this. Because that's a that's a that's a pretty good line. I like that. It's simple but it's pretty funny. And you know, just so you guys know who don't know basically all these characters have Japanese names. I think all of them do. I, I know I know Phoenix Wright's name is Ryuichi Naruhodo in Japanese, which is a pun because Naruhodo means I see or or uh, I understand. Well, you know, that's something okay, or that makes sense. You know, it's kind of like this kind of a remark of, uh, OK, I get it. That's what Naruhodo means. It's like a, it's like a, like a Eureka sound, whereas I think his name is Phoenix Wright because he's right, you know? Mm -hmm. In, in 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 English, yeah, but I think all the other characters, because this is, I think this is supposed to be set in Japan, but this is done. This is done. The kind of you see it less nowadays. The choice of actually like kind of westernizing with the localization, but um, Phoenix Wright, Miles Edgeworth, Larry Butts. I'm personally, I'm still okay with that. That's some fun, fun kind of uh, naming there. So we'll we'll, we'll roll with this. In the 20 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Uh, well, I'd say his girlfriend had terrible luck in this case. Not, not that it was great for him either, but she's the one who's dead, so... But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. All right, that is why I'm so scared about messing up in this game. I don't want to send this poor guy to jail or execution or whatever. I don't want to send innocent victims to their their uh, grisly fates. So 
this will feel horrible to me if I screw up one of these cases. I don't even know. I'm not that familiar with uh, Phoenix Wright. Are you able to screw up uh, cases if you don't do the right investigations and call out the right evidence? Are you able to like mess up a case in this series, uh, or is it, or is it that much of a visual novel that you just go through the motions? And you always get the perfect... I, I don't know, I don't know. That's why I'm a little sweating bullets starting this game. But we'll see. So, August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Oh, cool, now he's there. See that? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Uh, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Pain. The, um... Defense is ready, Your Honor. <coughs> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Mm. Mr. Wright, given these circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Oh, thank goodness they're not just throwing me into the shark tank, as it were. They're giving me a little bit of a chance to, uh, <laughs> some kind of tutorial, because I know, I know that you do have to, that's what I do know about the series, you do have to, like, call out at right moments when you think you've got the right moment to press the opposition. I haven't played Ace Attorney, like I said, this is my first time dipping my dome in the series, but I have watched uh, Aviary Attorney, which, if you don't know, is kind of a goofy... It's a it's a very interesting. It's it's like Ace Attorney, I understand, but you play as anthropomorphic animals, and the anthropomorphic animals are based on 19th century French art drawings of animals in funny clothes. Like those are just reused in this game as characters in this this uh, crime investigation procedural thing. It's 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 very it's very quaint. I, I was amused by that. That also kind of, when I watched that Let's Play, I was like, hmm, yeah, yeah, if this is what the actual Ace Attorney's like, I could get behind this. Except, of course, now I'm here in the hot seat, deciding the life and death of my clients. Oh, no. Well, let's get on with it. No use delaying it, yes? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, hand shaking, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, this is a tutorial to... Like, when you're... This is just simple. You're given prompts of what to answer. Well, it's Mia Fey, obviously. And then Phoenix gets a book thrown at him. Nope, we're going with Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Hmm, I'm only gonna have to scratch my jaw on this one. Think on this hard. Correct! Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Can we just... I remember it. It's, uh... Cool. We can come here, just in the middle. It's Cindy Stone, of course, the victim in this case. Oh, and here's Winston Payne, the prosecutor for this case. Lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. Aw, poor guy. Anyway. Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report covered cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh-oh. No way! I forgot! I'm trying a total blank here. Phoenix! Are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh my goodness, Mia, no! I don't want to screw up in front of Mia! Oh, the victim! Ah, uh, of course I know the victim's name! I am... just forgot... temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Oh, okay, this is... This is what I already did, but like, okay, the game's like, 
politely giving us a tutorial on this as well, just in case you didn't realize that you can hit the court record button whenever you feel like it. Just press tab to check it any time, okay? Like this? Oh my god, I'm checking it out. Wow! Remember to check it off, then. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? So, just so we know what we're doing, here's what we do. We go to there, we check. Ah, Cindy Stone, the victim in this case. And now we are convinced it's Cinder Block. Nope. Ah, uh, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Is this in the file? Hold on. No. And there's no, like... I've tried to press to, like, maybe open up a larger bio. No, there's nothing. So this is just a case of you have to have paid attention. I mean, they've highlighted the blunt object several times. They've called it out, so this isn't a difficult one. Obviously, it's the first case, but this is good to know. This is good to know that uh, this is um, this is uh, this is something that will come up. That sometimes you just have to remember things, so we have to pay attention to what's going on in the game. I'm sure that won't be a problem to me. Oh. All right, hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. And this is also why I felt like, okay, I can make a series of this on the channel, even though it's visual novelish. There is this stuff of... there is some video gamey aspects of... And I don't want to get into the whole, is a visual novel a video game in the first place? Okay, I'm not going to have that debate at the moment. I'm cool with visual novels, however you want to cut that cheese. I'm cool with those. But I mean that there's like these... You can get different states and you screw up if you make choices like this. And there is some interactivity in your timing of uh, doing the right choices. So so in that sense, there's more video gamey aspects in this than something which is just a, a visual novel. If you catch my drift here. Anyway. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Uh, yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? Uh, the murder weapon was this statue of uh, the Thinker. Hmm, I know that guy. Michelangelo's work, I think? Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm not... can't remember who made the Thinker, but it's, uh... Yeah, it was a very ponderous man, that Thinker. It was found flying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. A statue in the shape of the Thinker. The Tinker, the Tinker, the Tinker. I should have a mug of water when I'm playing this game. There's going to be so much dialogue. It's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. Is it in our trial record? It is. Cool. Yeah, so it's a heavy statue in the shape of the Tinker. Cool. Oh, I man, I wonder if the thing that's going to break this is we're going to be like, well, look at Mr. Butts' noodle arms. There's no way he could lift such a heavy statue. That would be hilarious if that's, <laughs> that's how we're going to use that, that uh, object. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Oh, yeah, we did that like this. I'll present my attorney's badge. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Actually, this autopsy report tells you the cause of death, so when I was speculating previously that you can't figure it out, I guess you could have referenced this item to figure out the answer to that question, if you had not been paying attention to the several shots of the bloody Thinker statue, so... Yeah. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. 
Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. Okay, so we gotta put on our pay attention caps on now. <laughs> You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Oh, can I at least... So I can't interrupt this part? I have to be a good little lawyer and not uh, jump in. <laughs> Aw. Can I at least be like, um, objection and... The, 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 the lawyer, the other lawyer guy, whatever he's called, he is leading the witness. I'm not exactly sure what leading the witness means, but I do know in every courtroom procedural, one of the guys always shouts that. And usually the judge is like, overruled, you may continue. That's how it works on TV anyway. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, this is going to lean a little bit on TV, being a uh, video game and whatnot, kind of being a silly little video game thing. But I don't know about the whole leading the witness thing. I hope I get to yell at some point. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything uh, unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Oh shit, oh no no no, downplay this, Larry. Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Don't both of those relationships end in death? Oh dear. Ah, uh, didn't they all die? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Thanks, Phoenix. Yeah, I know Romeo and Juliet screw up, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't remember how Cleopatra and Mark Antony went. Fun fact, guys. One of those... I've heard... One of the signs you know you have uh, matured into an adult is if you read Romeo and Juliet and realize there's nothing romantic about it. It's just a pair of selfish kids ruining everything for everyone. <laughs> Take that with a little grain of salt, but that's the that's the gag I've heard, heard on the internets. <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls, or seeing me, ever. What's it to you anyway, Mr. Butts? What you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. Uh, in fact, she had completely abandoned you, and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Okay, had been overseas just before the murder. That might be useful for our case. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Uh, Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Oh shit, let's review the court real quick. Time of death was, yeah, that's right, August, no, 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 August, July 31st, so, so she came back in July 30th, and any day before that, she should be in Paris. This is gonna be important, I'm sure. Ah, yeah, there we go, the victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30, 7.30, 30th of July, the day before the murder. Of course, it doesn't say how long she was in Paris, so we'll have to, maybe, that might become relevant, we'll see. Hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Ooh. Daddies? Sugar? Oh, I'm just an innocent boy. I don't know what those mean. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Ms. Stone was. Uh, tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Oh shit! Oh no! Big moment, big moment. Oh my god, is this my chance to go? Your honor, he's leading the question. No, le leading the client, leading the... He's leading stuff. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, at least we got pain on the ropes. We'll see what the judge thinks. Dude! Nick! What do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog? I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop dead! Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this! Oh boy, that's not... Let's continue with the trial, shall we? That probably didn't look super good on the whole court case, on the document. Eesh. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Ah, oh boy. This is so not looking good. <laughs> I love... I love, uh... Perturbed Phoenix's look. With the freaking his massive sweats. That's... I really like that. Next question! You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Whoa! Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, and uh, maybe I didn't. Uh-oh. He went. What do I do? Oh, gosh. Here's the thing. My gut says have him answer honestly because... Probably it's better, it looks better to be honest, but... Maybe I'm too bleeding heart for the breakneck world of lawyering. Maybe I should play kind of uh, play defense here, jump in and stop him. Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, let's see what happens if I have him answer honestly. Let's just see. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the trill. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. No oh, fuck. Oh no. Order! Well, Mr. Butts, do chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Oh, shit. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Oh shit. This is... This is really bad. <laughs> 